Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. It was not to angels that God subjected the world to come, of which we are speaking. Instead, someone has testified somewhere, What is man that you are mindful of him, or the son of man that you care for him? You made him for a little while lower than the angels. You crowned him with glory and honor, subjecting all things under his feet. In subjecting all things to him, he left nothing not subject to him. Yet at present we do not see all things subject to him, but we do see Jesus crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death. He who, for a little while, was made lower than the angels, that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. For it was fitting that he, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the leader to their salvation perfect through suffering. He who consecrates, and those who are being consecrated, all have one origin. Therefore, he is not ashamed to call them brothers, saying, I will proclaim your name to my brethren in the midst of the assembly. 
I will praise you. The word of the Lord. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. O oh Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. What is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man that you should care for him? You have made him little less than the angels, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, yes, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fishes of the sea, and whatever swims the paths of the seas. Gospel according to Mark. To you, Jesus came to Capernaum with his followers, and on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Every once in a while, something comes up in Scripture that just kind of throws me off. Like the fact that the author to the letter of the Hebrews wrote, instead someone has testified somewhere, right? That's how he refers to Psalm 8, which is only striking to me because it's pretty much my favorite psalm. It's just, I think it's just a very powerful and revelatory psalm. It, it just shows so much who we are in front of God, right? And, it, and it's, it's, it's one of those things that really we ought to take a lot of time to reflect on. I think we spend too little time reflecting on the truth that God has shown to us in these very few words. In this one simple prayer, He has shown so much to Him, yet He has made you little less than the angels. Or another translation, a little less than the gods. He has placed you in a, in a way that says you have the greatest of, of dignity amongst all creatures save the spiritual ones. That of all the material things, that man sits at, its, at the heights. That of all the grandeur that we can take in, we are so much greater than them. That of all of the, the beauty that we see, he looks down upon us and he says, and yet you're more beautiful. That when we stand at the edge of the ocean, when we're at the top of the mountains, when we sit at the peacefulness of a, of a wonderful lake or snow-capped mountain, he says, and yet it's nothing next to you. There's something amazing to reflect on that reality. That God himself has told us this truth. 
of how much we are worth because he's made us that way. And yet we call this time ordinary. It's really not the best way to talk about it. It's really not the best way to just say, oh, this is just the ordinary time. But rather, the Latin says it a little bit better. This is the time through the year. This is the time in which we remember that we are but a journey to something greater. We are in a movement towards our fulfillment in which we will hear these words in a more perfect way. That when we hear the words of the psalmist, we'll begin to understand the reality. Maybe not right now while we're still moving, but when we come to fulfillment in the world to come, we will know exactly what we were created for. So let us turn to our Father in heaven with our needs and those of the whole world. The proclamation of Jesus, crowned with glory and honor because he suffered death, may go forth from the heart of the church, whose members have a share in this suffering and in, in this glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that our national and world leaders may have great respect for the dignity of each human being, whom God has made little less than the angels. Let us pray to the Lord. That the unclean spirits of our own day may flee before the power of Jesus as we invoke him in this holy sacrifice. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have asked for our prayers in a time of physical, mental, or emotional distress, that Jesus, who is making them perfect through suffering, may support and uphold them in peace, let us pray to the Lord. That Jesus, who by the grace of God tasted death for everyone, might bring to life and glory those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all the deceased in Charles County, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear and answer these prayers, that they be in accord with your will, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, so become for us the bread of life. Yes. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we have done. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Apollot, Plene succeli et terra, gloria tua, hosanna in excelsis, benedictus qui venit in nomine domini, hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, follow, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take all of it and drink, for in this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Esti video patrionipotenti, 
in unitate spiritus sancti, omne sonor et gloria, per omnia saecula saeculorum.
Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. In thy love our lives enfold. 